Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Giddily 16.9 planning and kickoff for our February 2024 release of GitLab 16.9. Uh, my name is Mark Wood. I'm the product manager for Giddily. Uh, as I walk through these issues, I just wanted to note a couple things. To start with, this kickoff is being done a little bit earlier than normal due to PTO on my part. Uh, therefore, we do not have an absolute understanding of which issues are going to carry over from 16.8 into 16.9. So this kickoff is a little bit higher level than normal. However, my the team and myself will be updating the kickoff issue as we proceed and get closer to kickoff uh, with more detail. So if you want to check back in a week or so on the kickoff issue, you should find more details at that point. Uh, as far as capacity goes, we have a standard operating capacity throughout the 16 milestone, though I do want to note that there will be GitLab Summit, which is a one-week uh, team event for GitLab employees and team members, and therefore we will have a reduced capacity throughout 1610. Uh, therefore, we're going to try really hard not to let too much carry over from 16.9 into 16.10 to account for that lack of capacity coming up in the next release. Uh, another thing I want to note is we do a lot of internal GitLab initiatives here on the Giddly team since we're a core component of the GitLab product. Therefore, uh, there are a lot of items that go on in the background. Uh, many of those issues may not be accessible or are only accessible to GitLab team members. Uh, one such thing is we're leading the disaster recovery group, both from an engineering and a product perspective, uh, which is an internal initiative to ensure the GitLab is positioned in the best possible manner to satisfy the disaster recovery needs of our customers for both our .com offering as well as our self-managed customers. And this is something that we do devote a decent amount of time to every release. Uh, secondly, you'll notice there's a few key themes here that are carrying over. We're continuing to iterate on the support for bundle URIs for clones. Uh, we're working toward actually trying to figure out some benchmarking around this and understand how this is working for our users as we begin a very slow rollout process. Uh, this is something that we're gonna roll out over time. It's not going to be an all or nothing scenario. Uh, but it does provide some significant uh, reduction in server load uh, for large repositories and other specifically um, structured repositories. So that looks to be a very promising and we're having some very good success as we roll that out. Uh, the other thing is server-side backups. Uh, we have a repository backups blueprint. We're continuing to make some very uh, good iterative changes here. We've released a minimum version of this already and we're trying to couple some of this with our bundle URI feature so that server-side backups can create a bundle that can be used by the bundle URIs for cloning, which is a very exciting opportunity. Uh, the final thing I wanted to call out is we continue to engage with the Git upstream mailing list uh, to bring ref table support to Git and therefore through to GitLab. Uh, this is something that will really have a lot of performance uh, improvements and remove some race conditions that currently exist in the Git implementation that we have to work around. Uh, the Git group is doing an amazing job making progress here. Uh, we expect to be pushing some of these changes to the mailing list for review uh, by the end of February, it looks like, which is very exciting. So these are some great things going on in the Git uh, Giddly team. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a note below this video or come leave them directly on our planning issue. I'll leave a link to that below. Uh, this allows us to get the community feedback we desire. And as I said before, this will get more specific as we understand what work we currently have in 16.8 that will carry over to 16.9 and how much actual capacity we'll have during the 16.9 milestone. So we will refine this as we move forward. Again, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.